Thanks for taking your time to join us right here on Polk Place. Going to talk ribs on the ridge, yeah, the, the, the barbecue and brew. Oh my goodness, one of my favorite events that happened in Polk County. And uh, Gerald Richardson from Haines City Parks and Rec is joining us. How you doing? Good, doing well. Glad to be here, man. Yeah, Good to so, see you again. Uh, this is your, is this your gonna be your first or your second? Uh, this will be my second, actually, yeah. yep. I started uh, with the uh, city of Haines City January 3rd, and uh, this was my first event when I came on uh, there with the city last year. Yeah, so uh, big news from yesterday's meeting, the, uh, <laughs> the the big man, and I don't mean Santa, <laughs> called down to the office, and, and what did he say? Yeah, yep, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna add back in our Friday night um, to make it a two-day event this year, so it'll be February 6th, 16th and 17th right there at uh, Lake Eva Park. But uh, our Friday night kind of brings people around, uh, you know, more for festivities uh, with our food vendors and entertainment and all that good stuff to kind of, you know, spread it over two days rather than trying to jam pack everything into to one Saturday. Well, as a former member of the Visit Central Florida and Visit Central Florida sports team, you know that they are heavy into helping each one of the communities and their events bring tourism dollars into the county. And this year, you guys are part of the Triple Crown event. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, very excited about it. Uh, I think it's something that's really gonna help, you know, not just our event, but also Smoke on the Water, Pig Fest. Uh, but obviously with the, the big three competitions here in Polk County, as I mentioned, Pig Fest in Lakeland, Smoke on the Water, Winter Haven, and then uh, Ribs on the Ridge in, in Haines City, uh, bringing them all together this year for a Triple Crown competition. So teams who compete in all three events will have that opportunity uh, to be the Triple Crown winner of Polk County. And uh, if they compete in all three events, uh, they'll have that opportunity. We're, our event is the last event, mm -hmm. the, kind of the third leg of the Triple Crown, and uh, have that opportunity to be crowned uh, the champion of Polk County and uh, win some additional prize cash money. Yeah, not that, not only that, but bragging rights, bragging man. Bragging rights, oh, yeah, yeah. I never realized that uh, Chad Ward was mm -hmm. in with us, and and the amount of championship barbecues, including him, because he's one of the sponsors, uh, Whiskey Bent, yeah. um, of the Triple Crown event. The I think we have three grand champion uh, barbecue uh, pit masters, and for an area, one county of the whole KC barbecue thing, no other state has three competitions in one county. So we are a mecca when it comes to barbecue. Yeah, it, it is, it really is. It's grown, uh, you know, obviously I think Pig Fest was, you know, the one who initially kind of started things here in the county with uh, with their event and, and everything has just grown. But, uh, you know, the festivities, it all kind of, kind of wraps up in, in a matter of about a month span uh, with PigFest kicking it off. But, you know, just to have the opportunity to, to go to different competitions and see the different uh, teams, not all teams compete in, in all three events, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, teams that come in from all across the state and teams that even come in from, from outside of the state of Florida just to compete in these competitions right here in, in Polk County. Something you said, you know, we know that there are professional teams, but let's mm -hmm. talk about how your event breaks down. Yeah. Um, you guys have some unique things going on. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, we do. So we have two divisions. We have our professional division, uh, which is what the Triple Crown will be competing for, our professional teams that come in and compete in that division. But we also have the backyard division, which is uh, really for me, you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, you know, kind of the, the, the guys who aren't, you know, out there, blood, sweat, and tears every other weekend trying to compete and make some money. Uh, but just, you know, the, the people in Polk County who, you know, hey, I want to go out and compete and see what I can do, bring my, uh, bring my smoker from home out and uh, get some buddies and compete and see how we can uh, stack up against other people in the county. But our backyard division um, is a really neat division, open really for anyone uh, to come out and compete, whether you've ever cooked in a competition or it's your first one ever uh, competing. As far as layout goes, you guys are a true city town having an event. The others are held at unique places, Sun and Fun, and of yep. course, Boys and Girls Club there in uh, Winter Haven. Yeah. But you guys have the, man, you have <laughs> the world's greatest park as far as for a community. Talk to me about the backdrop that you guys have. You got the band show, you got all the makings yeah. for it. Yeah, it really is. I mean, as you mentioned, I mean, in the county, it's, um, 
maybe I'm a little biased too, but just, uh, just may, a maybe a little. <laughs> but uh, Lake, Lake Eva Park is really, uh, you know, it, it's a gem. I mean, a lot of the the people, uh, you know, even still, I mean, people come out there for the first time. Oh, I've never been here. This is amazing. Uh, but you know, like you say, the parks right there, the band show. We have you know our playgrounds, are there, our tennis courts, our, our swimming pool. Um, it's all right there, compacted. Or I should say compact because it is spread out good. But uh, right there in one area, um, and then the great lawn, which is right in the middle of it. You know. Which, which allows us to bring these events in and, and it is kind of a community. It's all right there. It's all right there in downtown Haines City. Uh, but you know, good entertainment that we have out. Uh, bands will have Friday, Friday night and Saturday. Uh, have events for the kids, crafts. Um, usually have some bounce houses. Um, of course, there's always food vendors, mm -hmm. marketplace vendors. Uh, for those things, selling uh, selling different marketplace yep. items and so forth. So you know, it's not just come out and uh, see some people. Yeah. You know, cook up some barbecue. There's a lot of stuff really to do throughout the day and hang out and see. And listen, man, as in the title, the uh, ribs on the ridge barbecue and. Brews. Brew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a big part of it. We'll say. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> you, you're not alone there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's talk uh, other things that are unique. Uh, I mean, it takes a lot to put on an event of this magnitude. Talk to me about community partners. You guys have a ton of volunteers that come out and help you. Talk about those, if you will. Yeah, yep. We don't. Uh, we know. We don't do it alone. It, it takes an army. Um, you know, a lot of volunteers are out, you know, Haines City area, uh, the kind of the Northeast Polk, you know, that help us with really a lot of our events and, and make them happen. Um, but when it goes to sponsors, Miracle, Miracle Toyota, none bigger for us. Um, the group there, uh, they're just, they're fabulous. Any event we have, they're part of it, uh, part of the community and not just really just Haines City, really that whole Northeast Polk. Uh, can't say enough about Miracle Toyota and what they do for for Northeast Polk and uh, you know help help the community out and they do they do a lot for for us. All right, we got about a minute left. Inspire them. Get off that couch. Not hit maybe if they can only hit one, they can hit yours. But me, I'm gonna do all three. But <laughs> inspire them to uh, come and see. Yeah, I mean ours. Like I say, ours is the last. The Triple Crown winner is gonna be crowned right there at our event, Lake Eva Park. Uh, the as you've already mentioned, we got the best venue of the mm -hmm. three. Uh, so that's a given. But uh, great family atmosphere things to do for for everybody in the family uh, as you mentioned brews also uh, <laughs> some barbecue mixed in but uh, you know just a great day uh, great evening and great day uh, everything for the family great entertainment we have every year um, you can't beat it it's it's the final triple crown uh, category location and uh, be the first one ever crowned in my Tom Cruise voice you had me at Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gerald, man, come back and see me, man. Yeah. Anytime you guys got kind of anything going on, uh, come in and chair. Always love conversations with you. Will the do. chair is always yours. Come back and see me, please. Hey, glad to be here. All right. Hayden City Parks and Recreation invites you to Ribs on the Ridge Barbecue and Brews. It's February 16th and 17th. Ribs on the Ridge is where the sweet smell of barbecue fills the air and the pit masters fire up platters of goodness. This event is sanctioned through the Kansas City Barbecue Society and will bring professional and backyard teams from across Florida and other states to compete for cash, prizes, trophies, and bragging rights for the best barbecue in town. And let's not forget, it's the third leg of the Triple Crown. Attendees of Ribs on the Ridge and Barbecues and Brew can expect to overindulge in tasting endless varieties of barbecue, live entertainment, food vendors, beer and wine, and much, much more. Admission is free. Whether you're a backyard cook or a professional cook, or would just like some good barbecue, Ribs on the Ridge is an event you don't want to miss. Now, if you need more information, give them a call, 863-421-3700, or look them up on the web at HaynesCity.com. If you enjoyed that episode of Polk Place, I invite you to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and even check out the next one.